So guys, welcome back to a very sunny day today. We are pulling in the Clio 197 that you guys have seen a ton of content on. In the last couple of videos, you may have seen that we actually put a timing belt on this, did a full service, everything to make sure the engine is running as it should. We can put an air filter in there, although we are going to change various bits in this engine bay down the line. We're just making sure that the car is happy, is ready to actually be started and then physically driven, you know, around the area that we can at the garage. Again, there is no MOT currently as I shoot this video on this car, but that is what's up. In the next couple of weeks, we're gonna get it running ready for that reason. But today, we are taking this, now it is running and actually sort of okay health-wise with the engine. We know that it's not gonna grenade itself, hopefully. We know that the car itself, yes, has 170,000 miles on it, but we've gone through it, we've made sure that everything is right. It runs and drives very very well now so we're gonna jump this thing onto the dyno as it sits because at 170,000 miles how bad can it be how much power could this thing have lost over its time of you know being sat for over five years doing 170 plus thousand miles and you know probably not really being looked after as much as it should we're gonna find out today what sort of power we've maybe lost or what power it still retains because we have a few mods coming up as you saw one of the last videos we do have a few bits to go on exhaust wise and then we're gonna try and map this thing. we're gonna get on the dyno at the garage and map this, do a proper mapping session to see what we can get out of that NA two liter engine. But as I've said already today, we're down at the garage, we're gonna use their dyno, see how many ponies we've lost. Again, if you do need any dyno work, anything like that, the garage on the Isle of Wight are the place to come to. They have their own dyno on site, which you can use or you can get your car mapped right here. But let's pull the car in. Hopefully it starts, I mean, it should start. It's only been a couple of days since we were actually last on this thing and get her on the dyno. Uh, Dan, I'm really sorry you have to get in this car right now. Um, I, you know, I've said to Dan, you know, for the video purpose. No, you're not. Could you, no, you're not. Could you drive it in? And he looked at me like, just not impressed whatsoever. But it's for the video. Battery's flat. Battery's flat, right. That was a good start. Apparently that's that's the biggest fail of the start, start of the video is that the battery doesn't even do anything. Right, let's get this. That is not a good start to the video. Not a good start. Come on, Cleo, why are you fighting us? What is this? Right, is she gonna start? Let's hope. Yeah. <laughs> he says, hold on. started i think and we were just actually talking about this off camera a minute ago as we we're getting that i think that the uh the battery terminals are just a bit rotten it's just a bit corroded so yeah we were talking about this the other day where where the car's been sat for so long and the battery might have too much in the way of corrosion around the terminal so we might have to address that with a little very soon. I suppose that is part and parcel of getting a car that has had that much sitting around time. The corrosion, just in like little bits like the electrical points and stuff, that might be the issue. Anyway, car goes on the dyno, we'll set it up, and yeah. I'm excited to uh, see how little power maybe this thing has now. We'll see. <laughs> Car's on the dyno, look at that. Sounds like it's, it's not missing, is it? It's just a bit. I think the battery's really flat. The really flat, like really. proper flat. Or it's one of those things. It's crap. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't be so rude to this lovely car. <laughs> well, any cars that we, we bring in here. <laughs> but yeah, cars on a dyno. 173 there, thousand miles as we zoom in. Exciting. And yeah, the car is still that dirty because I just haven't got to that yet. Yeah, it's not a priority. Strapping her down. George is here with his bum. Did we? <laughs> what are we saying about power? That was that was the thing, wasn't it? What are we saying about the power? We might do 170, I think. Do you reckon? I remember it's still got 170. Still got the dregs of some sort of fuel in there. Well. Yeah, there is some dodgy fuel still in here, although we did put some super duper in there. I don't know. Obviously, by the end of this video, we will know full well what power it's running. I'd like to be optimistic with a 180, but... While you're filming, look, let's ask the nice people. Yeah. Does anybody have one of these that they've broken or they yeah. track card? We need a driver's seat. 
Yes, oh please, because this is horrendous. If anybody's got a seat, or a bucket seat, or a bucket seat, or a pair of seats, that'd be even better. We're always looking to, you know, especially buy from subscribers and work with them. This car needs bits, obviously, so if you're out there and you've got bits for it, I'd like to, I think the wing, the cup wing would be quite nice on the back of this. That'd be a shout. A supercharger, oh, I don't know. Oh, is, yeah, I don't know. We might see some good power. We might not see absolutely any power. I'm really not sure. I don't think everybody's ever dynoed one of these after sitting for five years with 173,000 miles on it. Who knows? We, we're about to find out. This could go terribly wrong. It's got like 40 horsepower. It could be like relatively standard power. We're not sure i will look it up though before we do go into this video because we need to know the exact figures as per the internet <sighs> you'd like to think so wouldn't you but we'll it's see not it's not gonna make that now <laughs> never ever have they ever made that did you just open the boot after months of what well, just touch the you touched the what the hell is happening what is going on in here a rat a rat has been in here there's a rat in my boat and i don't <laughs> There's some, there's some thing. Oh, no spare wheel, eh? Hmm. Optional, must be. We haven't actually been in here yet. Another one there. Another one. Yeah, that's just in case. I need this. You need that. You need that one bit that's not in here, yeah? Yeah, cool. What a surprise. We wanted to know what was in the boot. I mean, we could see because the back seats are down, but yeah, some twine and some sandpaper and a fork. That is literally it. Okay, so I hope you guys can see my phone. We're on Parker's at the moment, which I've used in the past. So this is claiming 194 brake horsepower. 16,285 pound new, 215 Newton meters or 159 foot pounds. So we'll base those figures, or well, today's figures off this and uh, see if it's anywhere near that. I don't know, mate, 194, that's, that's, that's gonna be hard work, that's gonna be hard work. So I'm gonna leave you guys here, we're gonna get in the car. I am, we are taking our life in our hands at the moment because it's absolutely vile in there. I'm gonna whip my phone out, this is gonna be, it's gonna be disgusting. Right, jumping on the phone, we're gonna make our way into the car again. We have not cleaned this or anything, sorry, George, we are gonna get in i'm going to get in look look at the state of this thing in here there's mold on the floor but we're getting in anyway for the video what oh, stinks in here oh my god george is coming in with the uh, gloves on because he's worried about his safety you have to touch more than me don't you uh, uh, look how uh, uh. Blowing a lot of something out of it, isn't it? <laughs> it smells so bad in here. Whoa. What? <laughs> <laughs> we were all so wrong. <laughs> well, that's that then. <laughs> that is embarrassing. Embarrassing for a vehicle like this. <laughs> So just saying, from the outside there, Dan was just saying, he actually um, was stood out here as it was happening on the first try. And it looked like 
moss fell out the back of the car while coming up on the revs, which is funny. I don't think I've ever seen that on a dyno. <laughs>